hey there my name is Janice Dublin I am a character animator and today I'm going to show you a behind the scenes look at my latest animatic Venti Chi Chi Chong Yoon and Lumin play Overcooked animated a moving storyboard where I took four Genshin Impact voice actors playing Overcooked 2 and drew them as if their characters were in the game so with all things that take time a ton of planning was done to make this happen. I'm going to give you some footage of me drawing the characters, making a background, and doing some coloring. Hopefully you will enjoy it. If you do, just a reminder, please go leave a like on this video. It really helps me out. So the first thing that happens when making an animation is of course the idea. So when I saw this live stream of the voice actors playing Overcooked, had a lot of ideas that just popped into my head like I felt like I had to animate this or do something with this I watched through the first part again on Sarah Miller Cruz's channel and I came up with a couple of ideas I wrote down a couple of timestamps of moments that either I found really funny or moments that would lend themselves well to animation which is just like you know maybe they would say something super expressive or like a situation happened that would be fun to draw or it'd be moments that are just entertaining in general and then i'd choose one of them because i can't do anything too long or i know i will never finish it so i chose this moment where they're playing like the second world where there was a new mechanic where they learned to throw food and they had to throw it across a raft because they were on two different rafts and because it was a new mechanic and they were learning how to do it for the first time there was, I, there was a lot of moments that just felt really entertaining <laughs> so I thought that would be the best for this particular animatic. So after I have the idea, I watch through it again, I cut it down, cut out anything superfluous, and I write my script. Which is basically just, I write out everything that they say, sans the things that I cut out, and then I add in little notes of what I'm thinking that they're doing at the time. And then I do a screen record. I record the YouTube video so that I can have um, a file of the audio and that I can have that section of video to use as a reference for backgrounds and for like getting a sense of the actions. Like what is this person doing at this time? Can I make something else happen? And such like that. And then we go on to the characters. So for animation, you need to make a model sheet. A model sheet is just a page that has a turnaround of the character, maybe some expressions and like just the designs of everything. And you'd use it as a reference so that you can be consistent when you draw the character. To make this, I would boot up Genshin Impact, look at the characters, like, <laughs> 360 all around, and, like, try my best to simplify their hair <laughs> and face, and just make, like, a character drawing that I knew I would be able to draw consistently. I'm not the best artist, so I had to make it simple. Simple for me. So as you can see in this footage here, I started with a storyboard sketch. I then made another layer. I drew over it with a more detailed sketch to get the pose better. And then here, I'm doing the final drawing lines. I also simplified everything by making everyone have the same outfit and by taking away Venti and Chi Chi's hats helps with consistency, made it speedy, I didn't have to think too hard about it.
so now we're getting into the backgrounds. So for every background, it starts with a little sketch again. I'm using the original YouTube video as like a reference, but then just kind of adapting it into what I need. Like for some scenes, the background in Overcooked is like the raft is a certain way, but in my animatic, I change it a little bit just to suit where I want my characters to be. For instance, when Lumine is gathering potatoes to throw to the other raft, I have the potato bin like on the ends of her raft there, where that's not where it is in the game. But putting it there helps make the shot look better because she can stand at the edge there and throw it and there won't be tons of extra space in the middle. But it's just little things like that. I don't change too much because I did want it to be accurate so that people who know Overcooked will be able to recognize it more or less immediately. But if it's just like little things like, you know, changing where the cutting board is or changing where like the fire extinguisher is, if it's little like that, I don't mind changing it because it might end up making the shot look better or making the, the actions look better in the poses. So here you see me scribbling with white. The problem I ran into was that, you know, the line art is see-through. So everything behind it, you can see clearly. But then if I go to the background and erase behind them, then the background is erased and it's kind of annoying. So what I did was I went to the character layer and there's four layers in this program, Toon Boom, that you can have for a character. So I went to the very bottom one and then scribbled on it with white. That way there's a layer between the background and the character that shields them from those lines back there. And I did it on that bottom layer because there's a layer in between. There's line art, color art, and then underlay. So I did the white on the underlay so that when I go back and color their hair, I can do that on the color layer, which is in the middle. Now this shot was a little complicated because I had Chung Yun pop in from the side, but it's still the same shot from before with Chi Chi and Venti. Like it's not a new shot. I literally just shifted this shot over and then put Chang Yun on the side. Like a lot of this is just figuring out how to get the layers the way that I want. And then it's like everything falls into place. Now here, I made Chi Chi walk across the deck there, and then she trips and the fries, the fries that she chopped fall out of her hands into the water. 
<laughs> like before I had it so they weren't animated. Like it was just like speed lines and I would make it like just stuck in the air so you would know that it was moving but it wouldn't actually be moving and it just didn't look right to me. So for the things that are being thrown I decided I would actually move them. It turned out a lot better that way. Here you can see more clearly um, that white layer when I turn off the, the white of the background. And then to move Chi Chi and actually animate her more somewhat. So I turned on the onion skin, which is a feature that lets you see the before frame and the after frame so that I can move her forward frame by frame and get the consistency to make it look proper. Okay, now for the coloring. I debated whether or not to color everything. Because an animatic is supposed to be between a storyboard and an animation. It's halfway in between. So it's not supposed to be super detailed. So I did decide to do just the hair. The hair and the food because doing the hair would make the characters stand out more and then doing the food would also make those stand out. We want to focus on the characters and the props and then anything in the background that's being used or like that's essential to your understanding of what's happening in the shot. I will color that too. Like the order poster, I colored the check mark when they got it and then the the X was red. Like, just the most important things is what I was worried about. That's all I've got for you today. This animatic was so great to work on. If you haven't seen it for some reason, please go watch it. It's super fun. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, please let me know what you're thinking in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos, leave a like if you enjoyed, and share the video with others who might enjoy it too. Follow me on social media for updates, and I'll see you next time.